Well, uh, hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom map in Hearts of Iron 4. Before we continue, I want to say that uh, yes, my username is pretty weird. And that's because uh, my I'm using an alt count, so don't judge me. I haven't used this count in years. So yeah. Anyways, uh, let's begin. Uh, the program I use to make custom maps and in put them in game is called Random Paradox, and I'm gonna put it in the description if I don't forget. And yeah, after you download it, you open, you you run the exe file, and you should have this thing running. So how it works? First, you have to put the mod name here. Like if you wanna have a custom map, you have to. You have made the mod before that and I'm gonna show you how to do it of course if you don't know but I mean if you're here you probably know already anyways um, you have to put the game directory also you have to click some buttons but don't worry it's, it's not that difficult anyways I for the, for the tutorial I've made a cust I've made a, um, a mod but if you don't know how to make it, let's go on, uh, upload, create mod, then name it somehow, put a uh, version, then put a name here, and click create. And then if you want, you can put it in a custom playlist. Yeah, add new playlist, name it, put the mod here. Uh, I've opened the wrong mod, yeah, this mod. Yes, so yeah, we have tutorial, so I'm gonna put the name of the mod tutorial. Tutorial, I cannot type. Uh, then the location, game path uh, of uh, this, uh, of the game. Uh, just so you know, uh, for some reason, like, you have to put two, like, of this thing is in the right direction, not in on the left, like uh, on usually on Windows, it's pretty much uh, a swash. I don't know how you call it, but it's usually in the other direction. For some reason, this program is on the right and it's doubled anyway. So, this is the for me, this is uh, the path to Hearts of Iron 4. You you just have to find uh, your game path and put it here and maybe edit it a little so it uh, has the same I don't know syntax or how you call it, I don't know, my English shit so anyways then uh, put this, try to find mod folder and then click validate all path oh, this will be a long video <laughs> okay anyways uh, I forgot to mention uh, if you like if you have a map that has a custom resolution, you should better uh, you should better change it here. Like it has a separate tab made just for this. So yeah, okay. Um, land steps. Uh, okay. So first, you have for land input. Uh, well, you can pretty much put an image and you try to do it something with it, but you can also Click this classify land input and it will be uh, much better. So I have already a map. Uh, if you want, you can also make yourself one, or I don't know, you can find one on the internet. Of course, this uh, program also has the option of uh, generating a custom map. Of course, uh, but uh, I mean, who wants a custom map when you can make one, right? Uh, just, just give me a second to find my map. I've already made it, but well, I'm gonna make it again. Okay, so this is my map. Here we go. And you may be asking why there is different colors. Well, there are different colors because, well, if, if I click analyze input, I can put different like types of uh, land for the corresponding color. For example, for the blue. I can put ocean for the baby blue. I can put uh, lake for the green. I'm gonna put plains for the gray. I'm gonna put mountains and for the yellow. I'm gonna put hills and for this, I'm gonna put plains again. 
then you have to put apply of course you don't have to copy what I'm doing here like you can put something else of course as, as long as it doesn't break anything after clicking apply to all this uh, then go to height map huh. oh shit yeah my bad after you click apply you click analyze input again and then you go to height map and then click generate height from blah 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 click that and you have to wait a, a little yeah uh, if you have a if you don't have a good computer it will take some time it's yeah it's, uh, I mean the process is annoying and it's even more annoying when you have to wait yeah uh, the program as much as I want to say it's uh, I mean it's, it's pretty good one but it has its also its negative features I don't know I'm sorry devs I'm I mean, I mean, to be honest, this is the only thing we have, so I'm, I'm grateful. Anyways, normal map, we are you're like with generating the height map, we instantly generate the normal map. The continent map, we only have one. So I think if you have multiple continents, you have to put a custom name image uh, with um, the f like separate cores, cores of the continents. Uh, sadly I don't have really an example here but I think you get it I think uh, if you open like the 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 like the folder that the app is located there's a, I think a PDF file showing how you can do it anyways then we have climate climate uh, I'm gonna put the same image I'm gonna put here oh it's like water Water. I have no idea how you understand understand anything I'm saying, but uh, anyways, uh, then we have. Uh, I'm gonna put here snow. This video is gonna be a disaster, a <laughs> huge disaster. Anyways, uh, then we're gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put rocks. I don't know. Uh, I'm here. Gonna put continental warm. Then you click apply. And then you click this. And then you click this. Generate uh, from blah 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 blah. And you will wait a bit. And you wait. And you wait. And don't click anything because this program it sometimes it, like it crashes. It loves to crash. Yeah. So I think it took me four days to understand how this thing works. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, then we have temperature. I mean, it's already generated, but I lo like I like to click it again to generate. Yeah, because there's some differences. I don't know. I mean, kind of. I mean, it, it makes difference. I don't know. Uh, if you don't want, if like if you don't want to do it, don't do it. But uh, I mean. This is. I've tried it before. This this uh, way it works. Um, I, I'm scared of trying anything new because I, I just want to work. Like every time I try everything new, it it breaks and then I cry and then I I don't know. Let's not talk about that. Then uh, you're here gonna put the same image. Like like in the last three tabs, we've put in the same image. Okay, so everything's uh, good. You don't have to worry uh, of making multiple images, like in MapGen, if you if you know what what it is. Trees, I, I leave it like that. Anyways, I hope I'm recording because I'm not. If I'm not, I'm gonna be very mad. Uh, my mic, I think it's too loud. I hope this doesn't <laughs> make any huge problems. Anyways, areas. I will generate the density map. Uh, it's, it's pretty fast, and here, well, this is uh, the segments. Well, if I'm not mistaken, the segment costs influence. It pretty much what it does is uh, it makes like first the segments are like the, this little states, it, like this, they are the states. And if you want to, like, if you 
make this bigger number, like the segment costing points, the segments are like their border is aligned with with the different like I don't know biome if you, if you can say it. I, I, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna open it here. Uh, uh, this, this is a disastrous tutorial, by the way. This is so <laughs> such a shit tutorial, anyways. Um, I really, I, I should go to sleep. Uh, anyways, uh, I I don't know why, why where is this shit though? Should be somewhere here. Segments. Yeah. How much does terrain the clim the climate influence the shape? Yeah, it's pretty much what I said, but. Uh, in better English than mine. Anyways, target uh, land region amount. Uh, just put it on th this much. Guess what? Well, because why not? Anyways, uh, generate segments. And it will take time. Anyways, uh, I forgot some pause. What I did is uh, I waited for the segments to, you know, to do, do its work. Then I went to provinces, and then I made the minimum size of provinces to, f uh, to this to this number, and then I clicked generate provinces, and that's it. Anyways, let's continue with this uh, shitty tutorial. Anyways, after you've done that, uh, okay, this doesn't look pretty good to be honest. Uh, I think I'm gonna make this. Up. A little bit smaller. Will this fix problem? Well, uh, what I'm saying, like the problem right now, what I'm seeing is uh, this doesn't like the provinces doesn't really align with the mountain. Like I had the problem before uh, with generating a map. Then the second time I did it, it somehow fixed itself. But uh, maybe it's actually right. Uh, it's somehow yeah it's, uh, it's yeah it's all right I guess anyways let's continue with civilization but, <sighs> for the watcher watching this shit I'm sorry I'm sorry that you have to go through this and there is not a single tutorial on this shit okay maybe there's another one I've watched it and I think it's, it's an Arabian making tutorial on this and I had to watch the whole thing. It, it, uh, I mean, the Arabian was amazing. Okay, he did the tutorial amazing. He 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 pro his tutorial is probably better than mine. Anyways, uh, we go here, then uh, we click hit this. Yeah, quickly this. Uh, I am dyslexic. I'm I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Then go here, click this. Then go here. Uh, this is the amount of cities per region. Put it on one if you want to. I don't know. Do something. This is the farms also. Yeah. Wait a wait a, a bit. Blah, blah, blah. Wait a bit. I cannot speak anymore. I don't know what's happening. Okay, let's continue with uh, the scenarios. Yep. After you click this, uh, everything should be all right. Uh, don't really think about this. Just. Uh, Think it doesn't exist, okay? Anyways, let's go to countries. Like, if you want to know exactly what I'm doing, because I'm pretty sleepy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, this like this, this like the store. This is the shittiest. <sighs> I'll, I'll stop just okay. Anyways, uh, I don't know why. Yeah, if you want to know what everything does, just open this PDF file. It's in pretty much in the in the files, but yeah. Anyways, countries. This is the number of countries you want to generate on this in this map. We're not gonna make a hundred because this is gonna be disastrous. I'm gonna put maybe fourteen. Generate. And we wait. And we wait and the program is going and the program's gonna break again. <sighs> and we wait and we wait and we wait and we wait. Oh, I, I I hope uh, this is not an ear, ear rape video because I'm watching out at my mic sound 
and it's peaking a lot of times like it goes to red anyways uh, yeah uh, we generated this and we're gonna put this randomly distribute countries I think also you don't really need to do this if you want but if you're too lazy to put countries later in your mod you can just do that because now let's say I wanna select this country first I can update its tag its name and its adjective also I can draw Whoa. and also watch out when you draw because it's sometimes if you draw too fast uh, the program uh, the program is gonna crash I know from experience and it's it's not fun anyways let's go here generate uh, maybe click this I don't know and uh, for some reason for some reason this is I think you have to click this I forgot to say that yeah and then you click export I usually make better tutorials I've done it before they are not uh, public anymore but I've done better tutorials this is just I don't, I'm gonna upload this anyways I don't care anyways uh, put tutorial and you pray that it's okay before you click play you have to pray this works because it sometimes it breaks and that is the the most disgusting part okay it took me four days to understand what was the problem okay and do you know what was the problem I was making a mod for Katramis uh, it, it just, it, I, I, don't, I will not even explain what Katramis is okay it's a mod called Katramis the problem is I made two mods called the same name and I was editing like the wrong mod and I was playing the other mod so I was editing, editing a mod that I was not even playing yeah I think yeah, okay that's fine you pray with me this works okay pray with me this works because if it doesn't this tutorial is gonna end on a on a loss okay on a loss okay and it uh, and it loaded yeah I skipped the, the long process of this thing loading but in case in case something doesn't happen okay in case it crashes well you go to your mod folder which is located in documents paradox interacting interactive hard to iron form mod then you open the name of your mod and if there is a problem it's pretty much probably the tutorial folder because it doesn't have txt inside of it okay if it's not that then I, I cannot help you okay <laughs> anyways uh, just uh, so like just so you can see I'm not uh, lying to you uh, also it has uh, custom flags yeah the mod uh, the program I mean makes custom flags okay which is uh, yeah, it even gives custom traits, which is uh, pretty cool. Anyways, uh, let's select this country, and yeah, I'm gonna. If I can actually really make it bigger, uh, because I made it smaller for debugging purposes. But anyways, here you can see uh, we have different countries on all our custom map, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the weirdest, most fucking. I I don't know if you if you're watching this and you survived until now, you should you should you deserve a medal. Like I, if I was watching this, I would have probably stopped watching in the first ten seconds. This is the worst tutorial ever. Yeah, it's pretty interesting country. Anyways. Loop. Thanks for watching, and I hope with all of this yapping, you've learned everything. Yeah, not everything, anything. <sighs> I should go to sleep.